Hey everyone, Ross at GrooveTube Academy. Today we've got a video on SendGrid SMTP setup with GrooveMail in just three easy steps. By the end of this um, video, you're going to be able to use GrooveMail's autoresponder finally. It's, um, it, we're getting there, aren't we guys? So basically, um, I want to um, get straight into it. I've seen a few questions in the group about um, what is SMTP. Now, I'm not going to get into the weeds about it, but basically on this page here, you'll see that we have a Groove Mail's autoresponder and um, we have your leads or customers or clients on the other end and you're needing to send emails over to them. Now, you need some sort of delivery system for that and that's what we call an SMTP, which is a simple mail transfer protocol. Um, I like to just term it as a post office. You've got loads of letters to send out the post office then you know sends them out to your leads so it's probably the easiest way of understanding it now at the moment groove is um is going to have its own smtp uh, uh, setup but at the moment they're using a third party and today's one i'm going to use sendgrid because i've been playing around with it and it's really simple to use and i'm going to take you through the steps right now so what you'll first of, all, first of all have to have is somewhere where you can initially receive those emails. So you're going to have to get a verification from GrooveMail. So I'm using Zoho, which is great, Zoho Mail. If you haven't got a Zoho Mail account or somewhere where you can receive the verification email from GrooveMail, please pause this video and then uh, right click above my head the video that's going to flash up and set that up first and then come back and play this video. So basically, um, we, we'll have our, our Zuhu mail um, set up already. And what we we're going to do is we're going to set up our SMPT uh, first of all, TP, sorry, first of all. So what you want to do is um, sign up for a SendGrid account. So SendGrid.com and just sign up for that. It's dead easy. And then you'll eventually come to your dashboard with your name. And then what you want to do is you want to come down to um, sender authentication here and um, Sorry, my mouse just died there for a wee second. Right, so I've already been set up um, a GrooveTube Academy one already, which was dead easy. You want to now go into authenticate your domain and which domain server will you use? So you select down here and you go to Cloudflare, which is the one that uh, Groove uses. Would you also like the brand links for this domain, which is uh, going to select yes and then next. And uh, from domain, so enter your domain, edit any additional settings. So this one is just going to be from starkeys.site, which is another domain I just bought for purely for these um, tutorials. Next. Now, it's going to give you lots of C names, and I'm going to take you through one of them, and then I'll um, pause the video, do the rest to save a bit of time. So what you want to do is you want to go into your Groove um, account, and if you go in the top right here and click the little head, well, actually, I've got a picture uploaded, I'll need to do that. Um, and if you select My Account, if you go to Domains, Custom Domain, Manage, and then on the the site in question, you want to hit DNS. This is the new way of um, storing your uh, custom domains in Groove. And you'll see there's a bunch of um, MX files here already, which is from my Zuhu setup, which hopefully you've already done by now, or you'll have somewhere where you can actually receive the emails. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip-flop in between SendGrid and um, Groove. So, and it says add of these Cloudflare's DNS uh, section, which is basically the Groove because that's what Groove uses. So, what we want to do is we want to create a C name, copy this one. This is the name and the value. So, type name value. We go into Groove and we want to add record. We want to add a type C name, the name which I've already copied, paste back to SendGrid, copy the value back to Groove. That's the content bit, paste, leave this, don't want the proxy, save. Right, I'm going to go through the rest of them individually to save a bit of time. I'll pause the video. Back in a sec. Right, it didn't take too long. So as we can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five C names. And if we go back to our DNS within Groove, one, two, three, four, five. Um, it, it'll not accept anything if you make a mistake, because I made a mistake on this last one that I hadn't copied it properly and it wouldn't save. So uh, just to let you know. So we'll go back to SendGrid and we will click. I've added these records, verify. Hopefully I get a green tick. It worked. Your authenticated domain for starkies.site was verified. Some return 
to sender authentication. So we'll do that. And as you can see, it's come back as uh, verified Starkey's site. So onwards and upwards, we've done that in our DNS. Um, we've added all these records. We shall say update. And then what we want to do is we want to go into GrooveMail. So we've um, got our sign grid set up. We've um, into our GrooveMail account now, and then the uh, third one will be actually to test it. So what you want to do is um, you're, you're in GrooveMail here, um, select this into GrooveMail, you can see you are, and you want to come down to senders, click that, and then up here it will say new sender. So you click that, and this is the screen. I've just completed it for um, speed. So I've just sender identity, SendGrid, Starkey site, just so that I know that I'm using the SMTP with SendGrid. Sender's name, my name, sender's email, ross at uh, starkeysite.com. And same for the reply. I'm not going to make it default because I'm not going to use this one. And then in the business info, I've just made up an address and a company name. And um, what we want to do here is uh, the next important bit. So as you can see, um, in the list here, it says SMTP driver. So the coming soon is the GrooveMail one. So we just don't have it as yet. Um, but there are others that you that, that you can use, SparkPost, something try that. So for today's one, we're just going to use uh, SendGrid because it's the easiest one that I've found. And we go into back into SendGrid. If you scroll down here to API keys, and what you want to do is you want to create an API key and you want to have it um, just just put a name in so i'm just going to do uh, starkey's site and we'll have full access and then we shall press create now just keep this page up because once you um, come away from this page this will disappear see for security reasons we cannot show you this again so i'm just going to copy it and then um, I'm going to keep that page up just in case the setup doesn't work and I have to go back to it at some point. I'll just save you a few minutes. And then we'll paste this in here into the Enter API and then we'll press um, Save. Now, it's important that you do this way around. I've been finding that there's been a bug in the system where if you've already created a, a sender in here, it won't actually um, send. So what to do is do all this, what I've done, taking you through it step by step and then create the sender. And then you should receive your email um, pretty quickly afterwards. So as you can see, we're back in the um, Starkey's, Ross at Starkey's site, um, Ross at Starkey's dot site. And this is Zuhu. Um, and hopefully we are, now that we've set all that up, we'll get a verification from GrooveMail, and then once we click that, we're all set to go and test the system. So I'm going to pause it for a wee second. I'll see how long it takes just to let you know roughly how long the, the emails come through. They're not very long, but I'll pause the video just now back in a sec. Hey, so I'm back. I don't know if anyone spotted the mistake. I was wondering why the email was, wasn't taking, um, it was taking too long to come through, but I actually spelt the uh, the email incorrectly. It was starkies.site, and I, I think before I had... Um, starkeys site.com or something getting a little bit confused but i just deleted it and then um, did it again and then as soon as i did that the email came straight through so anyway we got there in the end that's what happens when you um, don't practice these videos and you just go straight in with a script and um, so here you go there's the email that we were talking about in my uh, zuhu account um from groove mail and it's basically saying the message was sent by groove so you can verify that and that basically is you know the last step before before you can start using it again. So verification successful, so that's all good. Um, so let's go back into GrooveMail. Right, so we can go ahead and um, test it now. So if we go into campaigns, and if you do a new campaign, and we'll do email campaign, and we'll just do a test. Site. I'm not add any tags, so click next, and um, we'll do subscribe to a list. We'll do start your site, and then it's selected three because I think I've got like three test emails in there, and we will click next, and we're going to select the sender. So that's good. It's start your site send grid subject line. This is a test. And this is a test. Let's see. Do that. Next. 
ready to send. So these, these are the new features now. You can send now, schedule for later, save as draft. Let's send now. And you can go through, make sure everything's okay, and send now. And then what we'll do is we shall go over to my Gmail account and we shall refresh a couple of times, see if it comes up. There we go. So that's um, my primary tab. And as you can see, it's it's come through. We'll click on that. Uh, Ross at starkies.site to me at uh, starkey test one at Gmail. And uh, yeah, as you can see, look at that. Works a treat. And you can see by the mailed by, that matches the um, same code that we got in SendGrid. So that's how you can tell that it was sent through there. But to the person that you're sending it to, you know, it just looks like a, a, a normal email. And um, that's it. So basically, we've um, done that in three easy steps. You just need somewhere where you can receive your emails, such as the Zoho uh, mail account, which there's a video about if you need to do that. And you need to have a, a sender set up in, in GrooveMail, and you just need that SMTP temporary fix, which we've used SendGrid in this um, video. And basically, that's it. Good to go. So there you go. Hopefully, in a shade over 10 minutes, you'll be able to set up your uh, GrooveMail auto responder i've been using it already and i've been getting fantastic delivery rates through this and um, so i'm going to start using it more and more and then hopefully very soon uh, group mail will get their own smtp set up and it'll make this um set up like non-existent we won't need to use it but i'll update you as soon as that comes live so if you've enjoyed this video please um leave me a like and a comment i always like chatting to you you know that i always uh, reply to every um question and um if you haven't subscribed there's a little box somewhere around my head probably about here it'd be great if you could subscribe to the channel and that just um makes me want to do more and more of these videos so hopefully that helps and um, the next video will probably be about the custom the new way of setting up your custom domain which is super simple now and um, my original setup took you through the whole cloudflare setup which is a bit drawn out that's what we used to have to do but now you can do it all in-house through groove and it's really really simple to do and you've seen a little snippet of that in the previous uh, video and um, if you come across this video and you haven't uh, got your groove account already there'll be a link somewhere below this video um, do sign up most of the guys watching this uh, video will already have an account and it's absolutely fantastic even the free account to get you going to uh, see see if we can help you and your business so i've been ross this has been the groove tube academy thanks for watching and i shall see you in the next video cheers everyone have a good one